Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some more pump wall on top ladder. If you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'm going to try to push up to like top 50 at least. I'm going to go for skellies in the back and I'll log on the tombstone. I'm trying to get back to my second pump already because this guy's like four off poison right now because he just played it on my pump. But I'm already back to my pump now so I can probably play it in the back. Thing is, I don't want him to go night graveyard and just take out my pump. So I'm not going to like pump at six. I'm going to wait a little bit and then just going to pump like right about now. You want to always make sure you don't waste that one elixir you get when the pump dies. So you always want to like kind of keep that in mind. I'm going to go for a knight in the back here to match his knight the back. And then probably going to try to get back to my second pump and play it on the bottom left. See if he's going to poison that. I don't think he will. But if he does, that would actually be really horrible. I'm going to knight right now. I'm going to log in the middle for that tombstone. Wait, that was not a good graveyard, I don't think. I think I already won the game here. Uh, I don't want to say I already won, but this is going to do some damage. But at the same time, that was a really bad poison and a graveyard. I don't think he should have gone in not that lane anyways. He would have gotten like a little bit more value if he went opposite lane. Because then he could have taken out my pump and then also gotten more damage. And gotten like a fatter poison because he would have hit my musketeer too. But he went in on the left lane. I'm going to knight right now. I know he's at 5 elixir right now, so I'm going to go for a musketeer. Okay, block the X. He's probably going to bar barrel now. Yeah, let's go for the bar barrel. I'm going to go for an ice fear on the bar barrel, and then that should die. Okay, that should lock on the tower now. I want him to tornado at 3. He's at 2 right now. At 3 now, so I'm kind of hoping that he tornadoes. No, he's actually not going to tornado. Pretty smart, because now I'm going to Axe at 6 again, but he's going to be able to tombstone, and then barely going to get the knight down. I don't want to log on the tombstone. I'll just kind of let him get the knight down. Okay, let's go for the knight on the side. I'm going to knight myself, and then he's probably going to poison or try to go XC, so I'm going to musky high as well. Okay, let's go for the poison. I was kind of hoping he would go for, like, a poison on the axe bow in the tower, which is why I kind of played my musky high, but he played it on the axe bow only, so he got, like, a decent bit of value with the poison. Not too bad, though. I'm going to go for a fire spirit on the right lane. That was some pretty good damage by me. I think that's, like, enough damage for me to win the game. I just have to get the sequence again where I keep going left and right, left and right, and I win the game. And double elixir versus, like, a lot of poison decks... You want to always like try to find that one cycle where you like out cycle the poison and then go left and right left and right don't just go like one lane don't just focus on one lane because then they can like stack up their poison value but if you keep going opposite lane then you're actually gonna be fine i'm gonna go for ice sprout on the bar barrel okay i'm gonna have to defend that knight on max so i'm gonna knight on top of the knight and then the musky in the middle should take out the xe and the knight there's a pretty good musky in the middle i'm gonna axe on the right lane now this is what I'm talking about. You have to get like a decent sequence where you get to go in left lane, right lane, left lane, right lane, and yeah, just be able to out damage them. I'm gonna go for a log. I know that he's back to his evil knight, so he's probably gonna play it down low. Yeah, let's go for the evil knight. I'm gonna evil knight myself, but I'm actually gonna musketeer opposite lane because I know that he might poison, so I don't want the musket to die to that poison. I'm gonna go for an axe ball on the left lane right now and Okay, Fire Spirit right now. I'll go Log here to take out the Axie. Axie got no damage on Maxwell. Bar Barrel gonna get one shot on Maxwell. I'm fine with that though. Gonna go for a Knight. Not back to Bar Barrel. He just played it on Max. But he's back to Tombstone now. So probably gonna play it in the middle. Okay, that means he's back to Axie. So he's probably gonna play it on the side. Oh, not enough Elixir to play it. Log Predict on the Ice Spirit. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's gonna be GG. It was a pretty nice win. Solid win. I knew exactly what to do. So I kind of got like a few pumps down. And then started going in left and right. Left and right. And... It paid off, so I'll take the win. This game's gonna put me at like, I don't know, top 120-ish. See where I'm at. Okay, on to my next game here. Facing so tired. This guy's like a terrible 2.6 player, but he does have like a really good matchup here, so I might not be able to win. 2.6 has like an 80-20 matchup over me because they have a big spell and they also have a really fast cycle and I don't really have a lot of defense for the hog. With goblins, it would be like, eh, like a decent matchup because, I mean, goblins help out a lot on defense, but with skellies, like, they're just not as versatile as goblins in my opinion. Wait, I'm going to snipe that with the musketeer and then try to go axe bow right now. See if I can get some damage with this. I don't think it's going to pay off, but I'm really hoping that it does. Ice golem in the middle. Now nah, he's going to hog here. I'm going to knight right now and then go ice spear on the hog. Okay, that was a good log. I'll give it to him. That log hit my ice spear and just because of that one tiny play, the hog got one more shot on max, but max bow died. But I got some damage though. Got like 500. I'll take that for sure. I just like don't know how to defend the hogs. I know that he's gonna hog log every time because he already know what deck I'm playing now. He knows I'm playing Pumpo, so like defending is gonna be so annoying, but I'll try. Yeah, right now, like I think he's gonna hog. So I'm gonna expo in the middle and then try to go for like an ice spear. I'm gonna knight and then go ice spear actually. And we just go knight on the hog so it doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, I put it into the log. Okay, I don't think I have to fire spear. Yeah, that should die. 
All right, good defense, but next cycle, I'm actually cooked. He's at six elixir right now, and my cycle is so cooked. Also, only two off hog right now, so he's probably going to ice golem, ice spear, and then just go hog like he did last time. Let's see what he does here, though. Yeah, I'm going to musky right now. And then he's going to hog. Yep, there goes the hog. I'm going to go for skellies on the hog. Only take one shot, please. If that gets two, I'm actually going to be upset. Okay, only got one shot. Not too bad. That's definitely doable for now. I don't really have to panic yet. I have plenty of time to make up for it, so I'm just going to expel on the right lane soon. Get Evo Skelly's wasted, so I'm definitely going to expel and then go Evo Knight in front. I'm not going to do it right away, though. I want to see if he's going to cannon here. He's probably going to ice call in the middle and try to go cannon, so I'm going to play my Knight, like, now. See if I can block it. Okay, let's go for the Hog. I'm actually going to log. The Hog went around my Knight, so it's only going to get one shot on the expo. Well, let me just go expo in the middle. Double expo is going to be pretty annoying for him to defend. Ice Spirit in the middle. Going to go Skelly's as well. Going to Fire Spirit. Just going to log in the middle, too. Okay, I hit the skeletons, but I don't think that does anything. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. I got no damage on the tower. That's super annoying that I had two expos on the field and he was able to out-tank me, but all good though. That was some pretty good defense by him. I'm going to go for a musketeer, ice spirit, and then I'm going to go for skellies on the hog. Only one shot on my tower, but that's still really annoying, like really hard to come back from. going to go for a pump in the back again. He just played a fireball on my tower, by the way, so he's not going to be able to get back to that anytime soon. I'm going to log right now. Knight. Ice Spear and then go Skellies here. Okay, that was a good log, so I'm gonna have to go for... Ah, oh, okay, 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 good. I thought it was gonna get the second shot, so I kinda panicked, but... I'm gonna Musky High, then I'm gonna Expel on the right lane. Gonna Knight to block the cannon that he's about to play soon. Okay, he's probably gonna Hog now that I played the Knight. Cannon in the middle, okay, definitely gonna Hog on the right. Expel. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Wait, I don't get that. I'm gonna Log here. Hog should die, should not get any damage on my... Tower, gonna knight to block the cannon, the new cannon, and then I'm just gonna expo in the middle again. Okay, I'm up so much elixir, I don't know how he's going to defend this. I really hope that he can't defend this. Oh, double lock? With the evil knight on the right is not gonna, like, die anytime soon. Oh my god, he missed the log too. Yo, look at the evil knight. Okay, he was able to defend it with the ice golem. I'm gonna eat the one hog shot. I'm just gonna keep going in because I've got a pretty good sequence going on right now. Kind of put him on, like, a really awkward spot, and then I was able to get a lot of damage as well. Gonna go for an Ice Spirit, then I'm gonna go for Skelly's on the Hog, and just gonna log it back too, so I don't take the one shot. I'm glad he didn't log with it. I'm gonna Knight here to predict the cannon I was gonna say, but he played a Hog into my Axe, but that was like a minute old. Just gonna go for a Pump in the back again, gonna Fire Spirit. I know that he's gonna Hog log soon, so I'm gonna have to Defensive Axe and then go like Musketeer down low to take it out. Okay, gonna Ice Spirit to push it into my Axe Okay, gonna Skelly's here, and... Gonna knight. Okay, yeah, he lost. He lost, I think. Because my expo should not die. And then I'll play a second expo right now. Okay, Evo Skelly's wasted. I'm gonna go for Musky on the left lane to apply pressure. Not gonna Skelly's on the hog yet. Okay, gonna do it now because he played a log. Okay, gets one shot on max. But expo on the tower, that's game. <laughs> I'm gonna BM this guy a little. This matchup is actually so free for this guy. I don't know how he managed to, like, lose that. But I'll take the win. I'm not complaining. That's going to put me in the top 100. I think barely, though. 23 trophies, not a lot, but should be in there. Okay, on to my next match here. Facing Hajime. This guy's a top 1 finish from, like, 2021. So he's a pretty decent player. Kind of washed now, but still a decent player. So Let's see what deck he's playing. I'm going to pump in the middle. Poison. Okay, so probably going to be Splash Shard. Like, Executioner, NATO Ice Spirit. Or could be Minor. XC NATO with a Bomb Tower and, like, a Knight and Tornado and all that stuff. Gonna fire spirit, just gonna log in the middle for that tombstone. I'm trying to get back to my second pump so I can just put it in the back right now. Because I know that he's not gonna be able to get back to his poison anytime soon. But if he does have a graveyard deck, though, he's probably gonna go in. Oh, wait, baby dragon. Okay, so this game is gonna be a little bit harder compared to like the executioner game because he does have a baby dragon that's really annoying for me to deal with. I do have the musketeer, but still, it's like really annoying to deal with. I don't know how to explain it, but it just is so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna let that die. I'm gonna let my pump take all that damage. Can't really do much about it. Not gonna lie, probably could have played that better, but took 1k damage. I don't mind taking that for now, though. I have plenty of time to make up for it. I keep saying that, but in matchups like these, I definitely have a lot of time to make up for it. I just have to pump a lot. I'm gonna pump in the back. I know that he's back to poison, but he's probably not gonna want to play it now that he knows that I have the expo deck. Um, If he does poison, though, I'll try to get back to my second pump. But for now, I'm going to go for a Fire Spirit, just going to Ice Spirit in the back, and a Log in the middle for that Tombstone. And just going to go for Skellies in the back. I'm so sick and tired of Tombstone, by the way. Such an unbalanced card. Like, it's such a broken building. 
It stalls out like an entire lane for like a whole minute. I'm not really too sure how to explain it, but like it just gets so much value in some matchups. But yeah, let me know if you guys agree or not. What? Wait, he sold. No way, this guy just like willingly activated my king tower to hit both of my pumps. And he's playing a splash shard deck, so now he's not going to get any damage for like the entire game. Uh, hello? He has like 8 elixir right now. <laughs> okay, I don't... You just let it go, to be honest. Like, it's already over. I'm gonna knight at the bridge here, and yeah, that should be game. I don't know why he activated the king tower. That was definitely not worth it at all. But I'm just gonna spam the king tower now, and I will see you when I find a game. Alright, let me see where that puts me. Probably gonna be like top 80-ish. I was 100 on the dot. 83, not too bad. Gonna play like two more. I'll see you when I find a game. Okay, in my next match. <gasps> Obama? Oh my god, I'm facing Obama. See what deck he's playing here. Anyway, it's gonna go for the fire spray on the right lane. Gonna skellies on the left to not take the damage from the wall breaker, and then just gonna pump in the back. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Well, well, well. Guess who lost a voter just now? <laughs> now I'm just playing. I don't like to get into political stuff. My bad. Don't like take things that I say seriously. By the way, like half the things I say are like all jokes. But anyway, it's gonna go for ice spray at the middle. I'm gonna go for fire spray, and then I'll just go for skellies in the middle. Defend the recruits pretty nicely, and then I'll just go pump in the back. I'm down quite a bit, but the pump in the back should get a lot of value right now, because not back to fireball. Oh, he has a pump too. Oh, I think he's playing the Mother Witch Fisherman deck. Yeah, it should be that deck, so I'm going to go for an x on the right lane. Okay, see what he does now. Um, I'm going to keep my log ready. I thought he was going to like wall breakers at the bridge, so I kind of kept my log ready, but he played it down low. I'm going to knight on the Fisherman. How does that not block? That's actually kind of annoying. But, okay, Axpo should get decent bit of damage on the tower. I'm going to go for the Fire Spray. I'm back to my pump now, so I'm going to pump on the back right. See if he's going to Fireball or try to go for a second pump. If he does Fireball, though, I'm definitely going to try and go Axpo and take out his entire tower. If not, I'm still going to go in, but I'm going to wait till I have 10 Elixir. He's kind of, like, getting cooked right now. I'm, like, controlling the game because I've got two pumps on the field. I'm going to Axpo right now. He pumped in the back. Just going to Axpo. Going to log on the Wall Breakers so they don't do any damage on my Axpo gonna go for a knight on the fisherman and then i'll just go for like an ice spirit on the bar barrel that he's about to play gonna do this right now and then go fire spirit over here to take all of them out gonna go for a musket in the back and i want him to fireball the musketeer and the pump oh please do wait he lost if he does he lost oh yeah that's yeah i'm gonna call the good game right now okay number one he played the mother witch on the one hp expo that was not needed at all number two he also fireballed the musketeer and the whole point of the musket in the back was to bait out the fireball and he fell for it, so I'll take that for sure. Gonna Expo again. That Expo should get a tiny lock. I don't think he's gonna be able to play a Mother Witch on time. Just play it now. He's kind of low. Like, he can't, like, recruit for, like, the rest of the game, I don't think. If I just keep applying the pressure, I think I'll be okay. Okay, Fisherman in the back. Probably gonna Barbarrel. I'm gonna go for a Musketeer. Gonna Fire Spirit. Decent Fireball to take on my Expo. I could either Expo right now or go Pump. I'm actually gonna Pump in the middle because I don't have a Pump on the field right now. I don't want him to, like, be up a look around me. So I'm just going to pump in the middle. Pretty safe play with that musket. Might get one shot on the tower. Oh, I'll take that. Nice. I'm going to log on the right so that the right side recruits are going to get to my side pretty quick. I don't have to like worry about defending them too much. And then left side, I'll just kind of let them chill back there for now. Going to ice spear at the middle. Going to go for skellies over here. Kind of a bad fire, but oh, I leak so much. Thanks. I leak like two elixir right there, I think. But all good though. I just have so much elixir right now. Like... Or I had so much elixir before I played the axe, but like I didn't know what to do with it. I'm gonna go for an Evo Knight, gonna Musketeer in the middle down low so he can't fireball all of that at once. My old Musketeer is alive. It's just not dying. I'll take that for sure. But the Evo Knight's actually gonna be cooking on the right lane. I'm gonna go for an Axe Bow again. Okay, wait, the Muskie's gonna be on the tower if he doesn't do anything right now. Oh, one shot. I'll take that. Gonna Ice Spirit. He's actually gonna be able to get the Evo Recruits down on time, but... All good though. Just gonna musky in the middle. Gonna go for a knight on the right lane. I'm gonna log on the left lane. Actually gonna fire spare first and then I'll go log to take out the wall breakers. Could have done it in like any order, but I wanted to fire spare first so like it would make it to the wall breakers and then I would just be able to one tap the wall breakers with the log. Gonna pump in the back now. He played a fireball so this pump should be okay. I just have to try to defend the recruits push coming at me right now. He's probably gonna wall breakers. I think I'm gonna like let some damage go on the left lane. Just gonna defend the right lane like super well, but left lane like I can eat like a wall breaker hit on that. I don't really care about that. Okay, gonna musky on the side now, and then I'll go mm, ice spear, and then I'll go for a knight on the right lane, and then I'll just go log. 
All right, beautiful defense right there. That was actually amazing. Could have kept the musky alive on the left lane, but I was kind of focused on the right. It doesn't matter that I already won the game. Gonna knight right now, and this expo is gonna be unstoppable. Got two musketeers down. I can probably get like four of them down, like right now. Got three musketeers down right now. Gonna log. Please don't fireball, bro. Don't fireball. Don't take out my musketeers. No, that's annoying. I'll get three of them down again, though. Okay, wait. One of them died already, but yeah, I'll take the win. That is gonna be a pretty solid win. Gonna put me at like top 60, I wanna say. 62-ish, maybe. Let me see. It's gonna be pretty close. 66. Okay, I'm just gonna play one more. All right, on to my last game here. Facing Dr. Puerto Rico. This guy also plays a really annoying recruit stack, but it's gonna be more annoying though, because he has the Goblin Gang and the Dark Goblin. Last guy didn't really have those. But yeah, he also has a Wall Breakers and the Skelly Barrel. Like a lot of win conditions with like a lot of spammy stuff and a Mighty Manor, so gonna be pretty annoying to get a lock. I just have to hope that I can like stack up pumps and then be able to win the game. I'm gonna go for a knight in the middle. I'm gonna eat the wall breakers. I don't really care about that right now. Okay, log in the middle should get some like good value right here. Cause I'll be able to take out the recruit shield as well. Then I'm just gonna like pump in the back left. Go skelly's here to pull the recruit back so it doesn't do any damage on my tower. Probably gonna do one shot actually, which I'm fine with. I don't care about that one shot. Actually, wait, this is kind of good. What if I just like expo on the right lane right now? Musky in the back and then go Axe on the right right now. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. I hope not anyways, but yeah, just going to try this. He's back to recruits. I really hope he gets it down on time. Yes, okay. So by doing this, I take out the recruits on my Axe Expo is going to take no damage right now. At least I hope so. Then I'm going to log on the left here, take out the wall breakers, and then I'll just go for a fire spirit on the right lane for the mighty miner. Okay, I could evil knight in front right now, but I'm actually going to let that go. Okay, Expo on the tower. He's probably going to Goblin Gang on the Musketeer or Goblins. He has both in hand right now. Okay, let's go for the Goblins. I'm actually going to Expo right now. He's at like 5 Elixir. He definitely can't get recruits down. So I'm going to go for a Knight in front too. Okay, really bad Goblin Gang. I'm um, just going to go for Skellies here so he can't go Wall Breakers into me. And then I'll just go for an Ice Spirit. And he's going to try and Tower Trade. Interesting. Okay, that was good Dark Ob though. Like it's going to get some damage, but definitely not going to trade the entire tower. So I'm gonna log right now and I'm chilling. I've got the fire spirit in hand. If he goes wall breakers, I can put it on top and like full counter them. And I can also go pump in the back now on the back right. So I think I'm okay right now, looking pretty solid. He can't like fireball cycle me by the way. His cycle is not fast at all. So I should be able to just like hold on to this lead and win the game if I play this right. I'm gonna go for a musky on the right lane. Gonna go for a fire spirit. Just gonna go for ice spirit and then go skellies on the wall breaker too. Just need that thing to die right now. Okay, there we go. Gonna log on the Skelly Barrel, Skellies, and the Mighty Manor, and the Recruits. Okay, Expo in the middle, actually. This Expo might get a lot of value. I don't think he's gonna be able to, like, play the Recruits on time. Probably gonna let that lock on and then play them. I'm gonna go for a Knight on the Dark Bob. Okay, that should die now. Skelly's here, and then I'll go log over here to take out the Goblin Gang. I'll go Fire Spirit on the right. Okay, that was a good fireball. Kinda caught me off guard. Gonna Knight in the middle, Evil Knight, and then he's probably gonna try and Wall Breakers with that, too. Yeah, just go for the wall breakers and the skelly barrel. Gonna log, and that is gonna be GG's. I will take the win. It was a pretty solid matchup, I wanna say. I just have to get like a few pumps down, and then you can't do anything about it. So I'll take the win. I'm gonna end the video there. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It would help out the channel a lot. And yeah, we're almost at like 112,000 subscribers. Thank you so much once again. But yeah, top 58, and I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.